Marty, your first win as QPR manager, the QPR fans' first win at home in a significant period of time. How pleasing was it? A very special night, definitely the night that we were expecting because I said from the beginning I think the supporters have been amazing since my arrival but as well especially the players have been working really really well over the weeks so I think it was a bit um, deserved in some way and I spoke last week about football is about achieving not deserving uh, I think that today we achieved what we wanted in a very difficult game because we start well we got the lead uh, through a penalty and then suddenly when the game was closer to us we could have scored the second goal and unfortunately then immediately we concede the draw then they got a red car and then they take the lead. So I think that emotionally it shows that the guys are extremely committed in to try to take the situation forward. And yeah, I'm very pleased for the supporters that help us for 95 minutes. And yeah, as, as well for the Venables uh, family because we wanted to, to give that victory as well for them and for Terry, in memory of Terry. And I think that it was a, a special night for, for all of us. Absolutely. And it felt like a significant moment just before half time. We went close to going 2 0 up and then go down the tunnel at 1-1. Did you have to lift your players during the break? What was the message? The message was that it was a great moment for me to grow as a team because we could decide if it was losing phase or we want to be a team that will take the ball and try to score a new goal. And I think that it was a, perhaps a double punch because after they scored the draw half-time, then they scored the second goal despite they got one man less. And I think that that shows the courage and the braveness of those guys. And in that sense, I'm very pleased for them because that's a milestone for me as a team to show the personality to turn a game like this. Did you enjoy the tactical challenge during the second half? Yeah, I think that uh, even though we had not so much time to work on how to attack a team that is facing one less man, one man less, I think that the guys understood very well what to do. Uh, we attack with Reggie high on the pitch. We create a, a line of four in the, against the back four, and I think that pushed them a lot. So I'm pleased about the way the guys understood the message. We already tried last last game at home here against Bristol, and again Norwich a little bit to do a little bit the same. So it's just some solutions that hopefully will help us to get more points when the situation is about similar as it was today. How pleased were you with Lyndon Dyke's reaction? Having missed that opportunity, it could have been understandable for him to play in the second half with his chin on his chest, but he helped get us back into the game with a stunning strike. We had a very good conversation with uh, Lyndon, actually, during, during the week, and um, I told him that for me, he's an experienced player, he's an international team player for Scotland, and he must be a very important player for us. So, obviously, the second goal is quality, in my opinion, is a, is a great uh, execution, it shows the quality that he has as a striker. I think that we need to learn as well how to activate him better to get more into chances. But all the credit to him, especially on the first goal, because you will say it's a penalty, but to take the courage in a situation like this, to, to take the ball, take the responsibility, I'm very pleased about that. So, hopefully, it will come much more. And has Chris Willock shown you exactly what he can do? Yeah, and actually it was a very difficult decision to not start him because I'm very happy with him. But perhaps um, the pick on load after the last games, starting again after a long period without playing, we decided together with him that he should be very important for us in the last 30, 40 minutes of the game. And yeah, at that time I was, I was right. He helped us with his quality, scoring a fantastic goal. And I'm very happy for him because we need him. And, and if it was not because a little bit this, this big load that he had and the small injuries he got uh, previous months, I'm sure that he will be starting again today. But now I think that he's fresh and ready to start against Preston. So we need to be humble now, try to recover everybody and, and face a new big challenge in, on Friday. So a few hours to recover. It's about enjoying this, but uh, being humble enough to understand that we need to achieve much more. And just while we continue to enjoy it for the moment, one other tactical change right towards the end that uh, bore fruit, of course, was Kenneth Powell moving into centre midfield. Ziad Larkesh coming in on the left-hand side and... He worked wonders down that left-hand side for an important goal. He did very well, actually. I'm very pleased with Ziyad because it was not an easy moment to jump in. Jack was really, really tired and he got a yellow card. So we thought that in a moment that the lead was 3-2 in any counter, uh, perhaps he could be really committed and we need him as well against Preston. And we know that uh, Ken has this quality to play more in central challenge as well. He did very well the minutes he played more as a number six. And then Ziyad gave us this energy and this depth on the left flank. So uh, I said to all the guys, not only in, uh, during the whole season, but especially in weeks like these with three games, we're going to need everybody. So I'm, I'm really pleased about the effort that Charlie put into the fresh legs of Smithy today were very important. All the subs, I think Jake played very good minutes. So we're going to need all of them.
And very finally, a message on the fans. They cheered you off after a defeat on Saturday. How much did you enjoy them cheering you and your team off after a victory tonight? I'm happy for them because they have been excellent since our arrival. And in that sense, I, I really want to give them back all the support, uh, the support that they are giving to all of our, our players. And yeah, I just want to keep on working to, to give them a lot of victories.